Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope you guys had a great week here, uh, ready for an exciting weekend of sports. Got two matchups on the NBA slate today. Before I get started, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Support the channel. You guys have been great. Um, go ahead and check out all my links in the description below, as well as becoming a YouTube member today, um, getting access to the private Discord server. Love to have you guys in there. A lot of good people in there, and um, just good times. So go ahead and check those out. Going to get started. Just two matchups, starting with the Philadelphia 76ers versus the Atlanta Hawks. Hot, or Philly opening up as one point favorites with the over under at 224 and a half. The series currently tied one to one with Philly winning 118 to 102 in the last matchup. Pretty much just domination in game two, you know, losing game one, which really, you know, the reason why they lost game one, they had the nine turnovers in the very first quarter, which is really insane. I mean, that's literally why they lost. They weren't able to make that, you know, get that lead back. They weren't able to really catch up. So um, game two, they really showed out, played better. Joel Embiid's been amazing this series. Uh, I feel like he's going to be questionable this entire series, but Joel Embiid should be good to go here. Really hard to trust Atlanta in this spot. I mean, when Philly's playing well, Atlanta just has no answer. Trey Young didn't really even have a good game in game two. That's what kind of hurt. Um, no one else was really hitting for them, honestly. Um, they definitely struggled. Going to be tough for Atlanta here. Um, you know, Philly covering the spread four, you know, four and two in their last six against Atlanta, covering the spread and straight up. The one downfall, Philly 0 and six against the spread on the road against Atlanta. Something to keep in mind. Nothing crazy, but, um, um, Atlanta 13 and 0 at home in their last 13, 6 and 0 covering the spread against Philly here at home. Pretty impressive stat here. Um, but just watching how game two was and, um, how good Philly dominated, I can't take the Hawks in this spot. Such a small, you're pretty much in a pick them right here with, with just a one point spread. Gonna roll with the Sixers in this matchup and, um, we're going to roll with the over 224 and a half. I expect Atlanta to get some more points on the board this match. And then the last matchup, we have the Phoenix Suns versus the Denver Nuggets. Denver opening up as one and a half point favorites with the over under at 223. Phoenix currently 2 and 0 in the series right now, pretty much dominating game 1 and game 2, winning 122 to 105 and then 123 to 98. Denver just hasn't found an answer. You know, Jokic has been, he's done all he can, but he's had no help, really. Very bad performances from Michael Porter Jr., Austin Rivers. Really his whole supporting cast in game two. Um, Phoenix just playing on another level. You know, Devin Booker playing great. Chris Paul, not looking hurt. Chris Paul's been unbelievable in this these first two games so far, and they're getting a lot of help with uh, Bridges and, you know, Crowder, Aiton, a lot of their you know they got then they have a bench too and um that's the one thing denver is lacking is much of a bench it's going to be tough for denver in this matchup um phoenix you know five and oh covering the spread in their last five games here um you know gotta take phoenix plus one and a half here i know denver's gonna be at home they're gonna have all the fans there but Phoenix is just outright playing a lot better than Denver. And I just don't think Denver can really compete with this Phoenix team. Other than Jokic, I mean, they just really haven't been able to stop Phoenix here. I'll take the free point and a half from Phoenix. And, um, cause you know, Denver hasn't been able to cover at all as the underdog in the last two matchups. Big time haven't been able to cover. Can't trust Denver, even at home. Taking Phoenix plus one and a half. We're going to roll with the over 223 here. That's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. And I will see you guys on Saturday. Have a good one.